Okay, for number seven, uh, they want you to find an algebraic expression. So your answer is going to involve uh, x's when you do that. Now, number seven is going to have the same exact instructions as how it's stated here in the sample test. Now, what it says is, assume x is positive and that the given expression is defined for the expression in x. So, the fact that, it, that x is positive, what that means if x is positive, this whole entire fraction is going to end up being positive. With these kind of problems, you need to figure out which quadrant you're going to draw the triangle in. But because this is all positive, that means you're going to have to draw the triangle in the first quadrant. Because that's the only quadrant where everything, sine, cosine, tangent, are going to be positive. So, actually, uh, every single time you see a question like this, you're actually always going to draw the triangle in the first quadrant because all the questions Number seven, uh, the instructions will be exactly the same, okay? Uh, so we're gonna do that on this one, draw the triangle in the first quadrant, and then we wanna use the definition for sine to label the sides. Now what does this actually mean? It means that the inverse sine is always gonna give you an angle theta, and that particular angle is gonna be this one uh, right here that the, uh, all this is referring to. So I'm gonna use the inside one to label my triangle, so the inside trig function I label the triangle with, and I'm going to use the definition for sine. The outside one is used to get my final answer. So once I have all the three sides labeled, then I'll use secant to actually write the answer for it uh, based on that. So first, now this, the definition for sine, opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, and it's going to be opposite this angle right here. So opposite means that this side is going to be x, Hypotenuse is going to be x squared plus 4. So now I have the two sides labeled again using the definition for sine. Now I'm not done yet because I have to figure out what the missing side is and I can do that by using the Pythagorean theorem. Now your C is always the longest side of the triangle, the side opposite the right angle. So for C I got to put in the square root. So I have square root of x squared plus uh, 4 that goes inside here. But don't forget that we are uh, squaring that one because it's uh, c squared. Then I have x is going to go here, and then I'm just solving for the missing side. Uh, so first let me uh, square uh, the other side, get rid of the radical. And that's going to give me x squared plus uh, 4. Now because I got rid of that radical, that means now I can actually subtract x squared from both sides and so both of those are going to cancel out. It's going to leave you with b squared is going to equal 4. You take the square root of both sides. And again, normally you do get plus or minus 2 whenever you take the square root. But because we got that part in the instructions that says assume x is positive and you're in the first quadrant, that means that this is going to have to be uh, positive 2 uh, because it's along the positive x-axis. So we've used the inside one to label the triangle. Now we're going to use the outside one to indicate our answer. We want to use the definition for secant. Uh, we're going to use our drawing just like that. Secant is equal to the hypotenuse over the adjacent, which for this problem is going to be the square root of x squared plus 4 all over 2. So this right here, this, part, this answer right there, uh, that's going to be what you would put as the answer for the whole entire problem. It's an algebraic expression that's equivalent to this that you have here. So we got that again by reading it directly off the triangle using the definition for secant, which is hypotenuse over the adjacent.